testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Quick Hits. We are back for our one episode on Sunday. Uh, typically, we come at you twice a day, twice a day, every day, eight to ten minutes, uh, just to keep you up to date on the latest <clears throat> in the world of boxing. Um, but on Sundays, we only come at you once a day. Um, so today, uh, before we get into it, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, Click like and subscribe and share on all forms. Now, let's get right into today's episode. Uh, we got a good one. So, Eddie Hearn has come out uh, and talked about Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight. And he says, um, Devin Haney, I'm sorry, Ryan Garcia doesn't want the fight. If he wanted the fight, the fight would get made. Um, both guys are kind of looking for an opponent. To me, I think Ryan Garcia wants the Tank Davis fight. He seems to have some personal beef with Tank Davis. I, I think... See, I think Ryan could beat Devin, possibly, and we get blown out to Tank Davis. But let's ignore that for a minute. Um, he, he has a, a personal, he says he knows guys like Tank. He used to get bullied by guys like Tank, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, he seems to have a personal vindictive with, with, with Tank um, and animosity towards Tank. Uh, and he wants that fight. And uh, Tank may fight Barrio. He may not. I don't know. Uh, but he wants that fight. And he's not going to sign any other fight uh, until that Tank Davis fight is not available. Which I think sooner rather than later it will be available. And then he'll be looking for another fight. Um, but Eddie Hearn made some interesting quotes. And, and, and I want to read to you what he said. Um, Eddie Hearn said, I think, talking about WBC, may order... Uh, Garcia uh, for Tuna because Garcia is supposed to fight Devin Haney. Hearn told Boxing Scene. So it's so bizarre. There's loads of money for the Haney-Garcia fight. The zone would love it, but he wants money. Garcia, so why not fight Haney? Right? Like, if they're going to um, order Garcia versus Fortuna, Garcia will get paid, but not nearly as much as a Haney fight. So if Haney, so if Garcia wants the money, if Ryan Garcia wants the big payday, which he deserves, he's a star, um, why would he wait for them to call Fortuna instead of signing the contract to fight Haney? From what that sounds like, it means like they're, they're offering Ryan a contract. Um, coming off that Luke Campbell performance, I would think they would jump at it. I, I get it. They're waiting for Tank Davis. Tank Davis isn't going to happen next. Let's say it's not going to happen, period. This fight can happen next. This fight's realistic. Uh, Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney. Instead of fighting Ryan Garcia, I said he wanted a bigger payday and fought nobody. I'm not saying Ryan Garcia is a duck, but he fought nobody instead of taking a payday during a pandemic to fight Hector Tanahara. Um, I think that was a bad look for, for, for Ryan. I think Tanahara would have won that fight. Tanahara was just way too sharp. Um, but kind of like the one fight I can see him winning at this weight class with this lightweight is Devin Haney. Devin Haney's untested. Devin Haney's best win is, uh, Gamboa, who was 40 years old with a blown Achilles. Okay. No, no, no disrespect. I think he's got master class skills and I'm not saying Ryan would win. It's kind of the one fight I think he can win. If you talk about Tiafimo, you talk about Loma, you talk about like, Tanahara, all those guys, Tank Davis, at 135, I think they all beat Ryan Garcia. He got dropped by Luke Campbell. And not that Luke Campbell's terrible, but Luke Campbell's not a puncher. Um, Luke Campbell is not a terrific athlete. He's a good boxer who's fundamentally skilled. He's he's fundamentally sound. But he's, there's nothing next level about him, right? He's a very good boxer. Uh, Ryan did well, but he got hit a lot. And if you get hit a lot against Hector Hart, you're going to get outpointed. You might get outpointed by Devin Haney. His skill, Haney's the much better athlete than Tanahara, but his skills aren't there yet, as sharp as Tanahara's. 
You're going to get knocked out by TFP Will Lopez and outboxed by TFP Will Lopez. And you're going to get destroyed by Tank Davis. And you're going to get outboxed by Loma. So I don't see how he beats any of those guys with the lone exception of possibly Devin Haney. We need to see what Haney's chin is like. Haney hasn't really been hit. He'll get hit with Ryan. Now, I think he can outbox Ryan. But can he stand up to Garcia's firepower? I don't know. Um, but this is weird. If this fight, and this seems to be legitimate. This seems to be a real offer that Eddie wants this fight to happen. Um, and if it is, shouldn't Ryan Garcia take it? Uh, again, let's assume this Tank Davis fight doesn't happen. I understand that's probably what he's waiting for. Um, I don't understand... Any bigger fight? What what bigger fight would there be for Ryan Garcia out there available for him next? There is none. So this would be a legacy fight. It would give him a win over one of the top guys at 135 in that weight class. They fought four times, I think, in the amateurs. They both won twice. This is it. This is the fight you need to make. Um, but I, I, I think so. we should address this. I think there's an offer out there for him. Um... This is a fight that can and should be made. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, what... We're going to find out more, right? And after Tank Davis and Mario Barros, so Tank Davis signs to fight someone else, we're going to see exactly how serious this offer is and how serious Ryan Garcia is. Because I think Ryan Garcia will take the fight if Tank Davis is no longer an option, which I don't think he'll be an option much longer. So this fight could happen. I, I do think this fight will happen in 2021. I don't know if it happens next, but it will happen, I think, this year. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it'll get made? Uh, do you think Ryan's ducking? Do you think Eddie's bluffing? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, just 8 to 10 minutes. We keep it real quick just to keep you totally up to date on the world of boxing. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the bell icon. Um, share with anyone who is a boxing fan, who wants boxing content, who wants to be up to, up, kept up to date on the world of boxing. Uh, anyway, it is March 7th, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in, um, in the class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.